Yo, what's up? We are now again here with Chris. Yo, what's up, peeps? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be cool here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are the cool youth, aren't we? No, yeah. we, we are. <laughs> we're we're grown-ups at this point, I think. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so we are back here, but this time we are not going to have a race. So we will just drive together. Uh-huh, cool. Yeah. And uh, first I should uh, introduce the car. You should introduce the car. This is a 2020 or maybe a 2021. It's a brand spanking new Jaguar I-Pace EV320 HSE. It's the, it's a stripped down version, right? I mean, yeah, it's the uh, not the, it's, it's the least powerful version, so it has a less powerful motor. That's pretty yeah. smart because yeah. I, I read about it. Mm -hmm. It has the same battery. Yeah. Uh, slightly less power. Yeah. But actually the same torque. Oh, <laughs> so just they just remove some horsepower. Yeah, That's and cheaper. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And then I have you guys probably know it. This is the Tesla Model Three Long Range 2021 model with uh, heat pump. So the purpose of this trip is not to race. No, no, we will drive together, yeah. like buddies, yeah. <laughs> in, in each of our cars, uh, up to uh, to Tjönkrysse. It's a foot in the mountain, 1,000 meter over sea level. Mm. I think we might have to top up on the way there. I have about 95%, you have 90, 99. 99, yeah, okay. So I cheated, I fast charged before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are just doing the final preparations now. I've charged the car to 95% uh, here. And uh, yeah, we had to drive 160. Well, it ex expects to draw, arrive at 54%. So no, this is never going to be a, a challenge with consumption because we we all know that the Model 3 is way more efficient than uh, than the IPs. It's it's more like how well can these cars deal with winter? So um, uh, yeah, and also I have an advantage now because Chris he has a 99%. He picked up the car with 100% right nearby, but you see I. Yeah, so my, my battery is at 27 degrees. I'm not sure what his battery is at, maybe 15, 20 degrees. Well, okay, kind of equal in a way, yeah. So, because I think his, his car was parked in the garage before he picked it up. So, good to go then. We are now getting, uh, we are about one hour away from uh, Fagernes, but I've decided to also stop at the Fortum Charger, but I have Chris with me here on the phone. Yo, what's up, peeps? Yo, Chris. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how is your eye pace? Oh, it's, uh, it's very nice, actually. It's, I like it a lot. Oh, and how is this compared to your uh, e-tron, then? Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't driven it for more than a little more than an hour, but um, it feels smaller and sportier. It feels more planted and less massive. Oh, it was phantom braking! Shit! What? <laughs> what? What happened with your car? Nothing. Okay, Chris, it didn't break. No, it brake break because you brake, but not because of the truck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always wonder what it would look like if a car's behind me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I didn't notice it because uh, it wasn't. Did, did your car brake very aggressively? Yeah, semi hard. Yeah, I, I didn't feel it. I think that the adaptive prison this car to just soften out your braking, so oh. it was fine. I didn't really notice it. Mm. Oh, look at that cheap fuel! Ooh, twelve fifty-two for diesel. <laughs> <laughs> but okay anyway let's see so what people are dying to know is that uh what is your consumption chris 245 holy guacamole 245 minus 158 yeah that is considerably less 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you see, that's a huge difference. Yeah, two hundred fifty and hundred. That's hundred difference. What? Yeah. Oh, we are um, fifty-six kilometers away from uh, Fagernes now, and the car started preheating the battery for supercharging. Yes. So the trick you can do is that okay, we are not going to uh, the supercharger. I mean. Normally, yes, we will go to the supercharger, but since I'm traveling with Chris, I will go to the, the Fortum charger that he also uh, is going to. So just for convenience, yeah, it's slightly more expensive over there, but okay. So let me see now. Oh, it's, I have to pay attention here to the road here. It's, it's starting to be a little bit slushy, but the battery temperature is at, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, you can see it there. I'm not paying attention to the camera. I'm lo looking at the road right now. But it's at 18.8. Uh, uh, is it? Yeah, 18.8, and it's going to heat up. So let's see then. Hopefully, I get some good charging speed uh, once we arrive at um, at the fast charger. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to check the weight of the car. Chris is behind me. Okay, I'm going first. Let's check the front axle. This is a long range Model 3. Mm. 1000 kilo front. All right. The whole car. Ooh. 1980. Oh, that's pretty good weight distribution. Okay. Okay, let's check out the eye pace. Front axle is twelve forty. Damn. And then the rest of the car is. <laughs> wow, two, three, forty! Holy guacamole! Wow, I didn't think this was that heavy. <laughs> what? Wow. Maybe you have, what do you have I in there? I thought this was less. I have uh, one hundred liters of water, and I have. Uh, <laughs> so I, I have nothing. Only me. <laughs> <laughs> We are now at Fagernes, yes, so um, the consumption went up quite a lot towards the end. See, 186 watt per kilometer. But I will show you something interesting also. Look at the trip here, 174.6. This car over reports distance by about 1%. And then you will see in Chris's car that his car probably reports it as 160 something here. But you see, it's still preconditioning the battery fast charging. Superchargers over there. We're gonna charge here because we want to compare the, both cars. But look here, the battery has heated up to 38.5 degrees. It's still heating it up. It wants to heat it up to 40 degrees. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see now. So Chris is going to plug in. I'm also gonna plug in. We will see how many kilowatt we get both. Yeah. Will will I Colgate? Will Chris Colgate? Hypercharger from Alpitronic. Just put like this. Okay, and then use uh, HPC. You know, it should figure out by itself which one is plugged in though, but I guess, yeah. All right. That's a nice, nice, it's a HSE. And you see the, the IPS also has headlight washers. That's something I'm missing on uh, Tesla. 
And while you have, do you have the lead uh, lead matrix? Uh, yes, I think so. Maybe yeah, yeah, it looks like looks like lead. Definitely know on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see now. The moment of truth. I'm getting. I'm getting 96 kilowatts. Oh, that's not too shabby. 96 kilowatt at 48 percent. Let me check Chris. He's getting 30 kilowatt. Shit. <laughs> He's getting 30 kilowatt. 30 kilowatt. His car is his car is colgating real bad. Wow, 30 versus 90 kilowatt. Whew. Okay, anyway, let me show you guys the surroundings. Chris is also shooting a video. Nice lake over here. I don't know what the name of the lake is. This is a nice location. It's full-blown winter over here. Well, this is called Kramsnö. Yeah, it's around zero degrees Celsius out here. So, wow. I guess in summer, it's pretty nice. You see, shell is over there. You can buy some food. You can charge a car. You can go and chill here. Watch the nice view. Yeah, so we're gonna to top up here, not too much, maybe just uh, 15 minutes. We're filming a little bit. Go to the restroom if you want to buy coffee or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so this is a trip on trip meter on the iPace. It reports 170 kilometers. Yeah. So 170 versus 175. Okay, you can close the <laughs> so so yeah. Uh, so there's a big, uh, of course, if you want to compare consumption directly, you have to also take into account the, 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 the distance difference. But let me just check again here. Yeah, he's... Um, what? Chris? Your charging stopped. The charging stopped. Stopped? Scheiße. I don't know why it stopped. It's, uh, it's at 51% or something. Yeah, it stopped. It only charged uh, 2 kilowatt hour, 2.2 kilowatt hour. All right, we've been charging for a while. Uh, I can check on the charger how long I've been here, but you see, at this point, it's pointless to use the high power charger. It's actually more expensive. You're only getting 33 kilowatts. Battery is nice and hot, 43 degrees. You see it there. Uh, let's check out outside. So how long have we been here? We went inside the gas station, had a little chat, had some hot dogs, chill. We are not in a race, so this is just chill time. Let me see, I've been here, oh, whoa, 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 34 minutes. Let's show you guys the stats. There, so, 34 minutes now. I'm getting uh, 33 kilowatts at 87%. Let's check out Chris, but you know, his charging session was interrupted. But let's see, he's at 71%, okay. He's getting, ah, he's getting 41 kilowatt. That's not too shabby. Yeah, so this, this, okay, okay. I think both cars should be ready soon. We don't have to drive that far. I can show you where we have to drive. Okay, there, Tynkrysse. And actually back in 2014, I drove there. Let me tell you now. I had Millennium Falcon, my Tesla Model S. I was going from Oslo to Bergen with Wifey. And then because of bad weather, then um, Hardangervida was closed, Hamsedalsfjellet was closed, so I had to juice up at Gul and then drive over Gulsfjellet here and then go there and then we were camping in the car there with Melinda Falcon, my Tesla Model S from 2013. We were camping there waiting for the convoy, yeah, but since then they have improved the roads way, way better now way better roads but that is uh, you know a, a typical checkpoint for for bad weather or whatever so we will see how the cars can deal with the bad weather yeah
and now add two increases. Yes, but uh, what the heck? Okay, so the consumption was 165. I don't know what uh, Chris has. I have 70 percent left, but according to the forecast, it's supposed to snow. Wait, are we here too early or too late? Um, okay, no snow, and it's only one degree Celsius. Uh, I guess uh, is the is it gonna be a challenge? Okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's go. But uh, so I told I talked to Chris. I talked to Chris. He wants to go f grocery shopping, and then so. But what kind of parking is this? I mean, Chris. He's inside. I mean, I know you are an Audi driver, but come on, <laughs> look, at, look at this parking. <laughs> okay, this is Chris's consumption. The funny thing is that there is a bug with this software. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so every time he restarts the car, it will show miles instead of kilometers. But 246, <sighs> wow. But okay, we will go to the camping spot. It, it is actually a little bit wind. It's a bit windy here. See, I, almost, I only wear my uh, stone bag. I have my other jacket. It's windy. You guys, the snow is coming. Just as forecasted, it is coming. Okay, let's get inside the car. Okay, so now we are at this, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's a parking lot. I can show you the surroundings here. So the, the old road used to go up there. And back in 2014, I was stuck here with Millennium Falcon for several hours. We were waiting for the convoy to open. Now we have a nice new tunnel going that way. But this is still relevant for many people. EVs, if they get stuck somewhere in winter and you have to keep the heater running, how much battery do you lose after several hours? So that's funny because I was actually stuck in the same place maybe <laughs> about four years ago with my first Volvo XC90 and I had lots of diesel juice so I was warm for a long time so the question <laughs> is how will the EVs fare <laughs> yes funny we were both stuck in the same place yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you see the plan now is that we would just camp each in our own cars I brought some food and some stuff and we just uh, I think we will just keep it for about two hours and then we head back home but um, we want to measure how much power each car consumes to keep it nice and warm inside the car. So yeah, let's check the stats then. Aha, uh -huh, okay, uh, it is four now. So we're gonna start measuring at four. So I have 69% and um, Chris, he has 51% and uh, he has uh, the air conditioning running at 22 degrees Celsius. For me, I choose 21, that's what I'm comfortable with. Uh, it, I think it doesn't matter really, 21 or 22. And then I will use camp mode, so we don't run any weird battery heating and stuff. But we can also see in scan my Tesla here that um, I have reset it just uh, a minute ago. And here it starts counting how many kilowatt hour. Actually, it m measures, yeah, uh, yeah, what kilowatt hour. And then you see the battery is now at 19.8 degrees. Outside temperature is zero. So it's still harvesting a little bit of leftover heat from the battery. I'm not sure what's going on in the, in the iPace, but the iPace also has very smart heat scavenging. So um, yeah, I'm going to call him because I, we, I don't want to open the window. We want to keep the, the heat in here and uh, minimize the opening and closing on the window because uh, yeah, that could mess up the test. Okay, nice and warm in here. Oof. Chris is just camped right next. He's, he's doing his thing there, so we're doing our thing. So, All right, but I'm going to show you now that uh, okay, I use this as the the light, the, the studio light. But I have this this uh, window. What do you, what do we call again? Uh, the window cover. It's from Taptes, but it's only on this glass. So you see, I didn't put on the rear glass or anything. I mean, if I cover all the windows, it would be actually be even better. But who covers, I mean, who co who brings all the window covers? But actually this one, I like it. I have it on permanently because it gives it nice insulation. I don't get that cold chill from above. So will it affect the consumption? Uh, barely, because there's still lots and lots and lots of other uh, window sh um, uh, surface that is not covered at all. So I don't think it matters too much, to be honest. Well, it is four in the afternoon and I feel like having some 
lunch, well, late lunch, din no, it's not dinner, but some food. So I brought Poulaibre. Yeah, you guys know this, this is delicious stuff. Poulaibre and in the front, I kept Julesilte. Huh? Julesilte <laughs> and mayonnaise. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, acta mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. So I have food for a long time. I could, you know, we are, we are going to camp at two hours, but I could camp at 10 hours, no problem. And then we have juice. I don't know what kind of juice this is. Uh, 16%, up. lots of lots of fruit, lots of sugar. Yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, I will put the juice outside in the cold. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there, it stays nice and... Oh, I shouldn't open the door too often. Because I'm letting off some uh, some heat. Okay, and then what else did I bring? Yeah, I oof. I have 12 volt kettle. I brought uh, hot water in here. I brought Sulbite uh, hoddy. Yeah. This guy is out playing. I'm already struggling, boys. I'm falling apart. That's it. Series is failing. I'm quitting StarCraft. This guy is wrecking me. He's from Korea. Yeah. All right, so I have this controller that I bought. It's Xbox controller. I've been using it with MC Hammer. But you know, MC Hammer has USB-A port and all the USB ports in the, the new Model 3 is USB-C. So I have this adapter from USB-A to... Oh, did I... Shit. <clears throat> Did I try to squeeze it the wrong way? No. Okay, you can put by this adapter. Uh -huh. Oops, oops, uh -huh. trying to show you guys. Focus is a little bit off here. But there's this adapter that creates USB C. And then we just plug it in the front here. Oh, 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 it works! It works! Wait, let me see. If we could tap here, if we tap on the top, you can, you can adjust here. Okay. Let me see. So, yeah. It's been one hour now. So far, status is that um, is that uh, I have spent very little. Wait, hey, it is interesting. Chris is calling me, but it doesn't interrupt. Chris is calling me, but I, I feel it in my phone. Huh? How do I stop this? Game passed. Huh? Tesla, you should fix this. Chris is calling me. Huh, now I have to pick it up manually. Yeah, okay. But okay, I'm gonna show you something. There is a box that arrived in my mail today. Which side? Okay, this side. Voila! <laughs> Canon HF G60. So let me just show you. This one, this is the camcorder. This is one has been I've been using for about a year now. It's oh, it's a Canon HFG 50, which is pretty pretty good, but it struggles a little bit in low light. And also, I dropped this camera on the ground while in Thailand, and ever since then, the camera has problems focusing. I think also there is a little there is a focusing uh, sensor there in the front there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have to get this serviced, repaired, the focus uh, thing feature on it. But it, it, regardless, I wanted to get this one G60 because the G60 has a bigger sensor. That's the biggest improvement with this one. Uh, zoom wise, the G50 here has uh, 20 times zoom. This one has only 15 times zoom, but you know, zoom rate was something in the 90s everyone wanted they wanted 200x zoom or whatever which is just digital foot zoom but this one with 15x zoom i'll take it with a bigger sensor so now comes the unboxing oh okay they taped it How do we... i need something a knife something maybe i can use this one yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have a key. I, not, I normally don't use keys anymore, but uh, this is the key for... I, I locked something with Wi-Fi and then I kept the key with me so no one else can unlock it. So I'm forever locked with Wi-Fi. 
So I'm going to use the key now to unpack, to unbox the, the camera. Oh, there, 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 there you go. So yes, speaking of Wi-Fi, so this one always reminds me when I'm on trip uh, about Wi-Fi, but not only that, but... Oh, oh no, I, I accidentally pressed the brake. Oh, let me just switch off the lights here. Okay. And also in my wallet here, I always bring a picture of Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think this was, this was probably a long time ago. She looks like a schoolgirl. But you know, Asians, they, they never age. So even if I took a picture today and this one, and you guys still wouldn't see the difference. Yes, I always keep her here in my wallet. When I run out of juice, then I'm always here. <laughs> She's always there with me. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the Roadster? I am, because I have this. It's a portable, unbreakable urinal. Yeah, I bought it from Thailand for 49, 10, uh, it's about 15, it's about 1.5 euros. So, this thing is wonderful, because, you know, the argument against uh, EV is always that, oh, but you know, uh, you need, I need 1,000 kilometers of range because you don't have time to pee. So this thing here is when you have a Roadster or the Model S Platt and you just have to keep driving. You don't have time to even stop and pee and charge. So then you just, uh, and then, uh, and then just remember to put on the lid. I'm not sure if I've used it yet. Uh, is that plastic smell or is it smell of my urine? Okay, I don't know, but um, this is, you know, this is really what you need if you get a Roadster or uh, yeah, the Model S Platt. You, you can't drive you can't empty the battery without having to pee, but you know, the roadster should come with this. Yeah. Maybe Chris wanna bar you wanna you wanna bar huh? huh? <laughs> we can well okay, rule number one, never share your urinal with your buddy. <laughs> Alright, time is up. It's been two hours now. And my car is at 66%. And let me show you the stats here. Um, Scan my Tesla reports spending 1.2 kilowatt hour over two hours. That means 600 watts. But if you look at percentage, I lost 2%. 2% that is about 1.4, actually almost 1.5 kilowatt hour. So I'm not sure which one to trust, but I, I've seen before that we can trust this number. Now the reason why the state of charge is lower now could be because uh, the temperature on the pack has dropped. Yeah, that could be the explanation. The pack is actually quite cold and it's been scavenging heat from the battery all this time now for two hours. So this is quite remarkable that this car spent only 600, I mean, or it pulls 600 watts on average. Because Chris, on the other hand, uh, we can check Chris's car, but um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, I can, oh. Man, I bumped into the, bumped into the juice, the juice has been camping out here, but let me check Chris's car. Whoa, look at that. So Chris, he is at 47%. I have to adjust, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Chris is at 47%. Well, you had 51. 51? So you lost 4%. Correct. correct. Yeah. And quick math, you have an average draw of 1.6 kilowatt, roughly. 1.6 kilowatt. And you have? I have checked now, again, according to scan my Tesla. Mm -hmm. It's actually 1.2 kilowatt hours. It means 600 watts. Yeah. Versus 1.6. Less than half. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable. But my car has been sucking heat from the battery. Yeah. So... It's been sucking heat. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smart. Okay, I will close the window now. All right, so 47%. Okay, so let's get back in here. Um, all right, so now we have done the, the camping test and we will go back to Fagernes. I guess I can just do this and I can start navigating to Leira. 
yeah and i think we have to pee a little bit before we start driving it's just a fairly short drive there one hour We are now at Fagernes, so my consumption was actually 181 watt amp per kilometer. I think Chris's consumption is uh, not that much higher because I've been preheating the battery most of the time back down here. So you see, battery has been heated up from nine, was it eight degrees Celsius to almost 40 degrees now. So I should still get pretty good speed here at 45%. So uh, let's uh, plug it in. Chris is over there. I think he's already charging. Whoa, this is the I-Pace. At 28%, it gets only 40 kilowatt. It seriously Colgate. Yes, he's also filming. I'm gonna check. Check MC Hammer. It's slightly better than MC Hammer. 86 kilowatts. <laughs> That's actually twice as fast. Even at higher state of charge. If you go, if, if I was at 25%, I would probably have over 100 kilowatts. So, uh, all right. Yeah, I will just wait for Chris to do his thing. So I need to charge only like 10, 10, 15 minutes and I'm gone, I'm good. Not sure about Chris. So I actually, I might already be good now to go back to uh, Oslo. Uh, we have been charging here for a while and I have 81% now. We went to the gas station, we chatted a little bit, sl slacked and you see right now we, <laughs> The car estimates we will arrive so okay with 45%. So I might as well unplug now. I'm I'm getting one I'm getting 37 kilowatt. It's almost pointless for me to sit and camp here. So but I just want to show you that uh, interestingly the IPS was getting only 40 kilowatt in the beginning, but see now, after half an hour of charging, the battery has heated up, so it's taking 62 kilowatt. But he's at 56% and I'm not sure if that is enough. He might, he should maybe go to about 65% before we attempt to go back home. So maybe you can try a better route planner. Okay, Chris is finally done. I actually unplugged a little bit before him and I was waiting for him to uh, finish charging. So let me show you that. The battery is nice and warm. I'm going to reset everything. Oh shit. I'm still using the old camera here. There, 42 degrees Celsius in the pack. He's getting ready. Okay, I think he will drive first now. I will call him and then we'll start driving. So let's reset everything and then oh, off we go back home. Okay, we have been driving for 17 minutes and suddenly I lost my radar. Radar is kaput, it's been blocked by whatever, we had a little bit of snow, so I have Chris on the phone. Chris, how is your radar? My radar is fantastic, it's never been better. <sighs> okay, I beat you on charging speed, but you beat me on the radar. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> see, I cannot, I'll show you here, I cannot use cruise control, you see? Radar is kaput, it's blocked. It's supposed to be heated, but it's not. Maybe, maybe we need a software update. <laughs> <laughs> Shit.
we are now back at Circle K Sandvika. Yeah, consumption for this leg was 144 watt hour per kilometer only. And the total trip consumption was 168. So, okay, not too shabby. All right, and then uh, scan my test now. Looks like this right now. We haven't navigated to any fast charger, supercharger. So, right now the battery is quite cold and we have 46%. So, we're gonna plug in now to see how slow the charging is. Interestingly, well, I have somewhat high state of charge, but you see, I'm only getting 67 kill. Well, it's it's ramping up. It's ramping up, but look here. So it's it's heating up the battery. The battery is pretty cold, 18 degrees Celsius only. You can see it there. Inlet is now, yeah, it's trying to heat up the battery. But uh, you see, this is also a scenario when you don't, when you cannot navigate to a supercharger, then you are only getting 67 kilowatts. So now this battery is cold getting, it's been sucking it cold. And I will show you something. IPS getting 87 kilowatt. <laughs> so you see, this time we gave the IPS the opportunity to heat up on the, on the trip back here. And also IPS arrived with low state of charge. So in general, you want to arrive with low state of charge before you charge. So of course, uh, it's not too realistic. I mean, one thing that is not realistic with the Model 3 is that I charge way too much every time because I was waiting for the iPace. This is uh, this is pretty cool because uh, this ch uh, this this gas station here, Circle K, used to have lots of uh, gas pumps, but they have re replaced many of the gas pumps with fast chargers. Look, 150 kilowatt, 150 kilowatt, 100, so four times 150 kilowatt, and then two times 50 kilowatt over there. And the the, the cool part is that they put the fast chargers closest to the entrance <laughs> huh do you like that and then the the fossil pumps they are just over here like yeah yeah yeah. But you need some fossil juice yeah you can go over there <laughs> whoa this is weird this is the eye pace charging now i just show you that i'm not uh, kidding here this is the eye pace and uh, it failed a couple of times but then suddenly we are now getting over it's been like this for a long time now like it was hovering around 95 kilowatts and now uh, around 100. So I've never seen an iPace charge this fast before. And I, I borrowed iPace several times. But you see, it seems like the iPace needs, you have to arrive with kind of low state of charge, around 15, 10 to 15% maybe. And then also you have to drive for a while. But we didn't drive that fast. It wasn't, there was no motorway, except for maybe the last part, a little bit, but that was not too. Like five kilometers yeah. maximum? Yeah. But it seems like the iPace just needs a little bit of time to, to heat up the battery from driving it. And then you get okay speed. All right, that was, uh, it was a great trip, yeah? Yeah, it was, it was, it was. You know, you know, it was a very chill trip this time. Yeah, I know, not stressful at all. We stopped as many times as we wanted. And yeah, very calm and relaxing. I didn't know that driving an EV could be this calm and relaxing. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't always have to have a race, you know, we can just chill, go, yeah, go to the mountain, chill, and then... Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we do more of these type of, of uh, test trips? Huh? I mean, let me know in the comments below, right? Okay, yeah. And um, Yeah, well, so, by the way, so what do you think about uh, the iPace then? Well... I actually like it a lot. Um, I'm going to do some more extensive testing tomorrow, so I haven't made up my mind, but so far uh, I'm liking this car, but I don't know how much this exact car costs, so that would of course influence my, well, my opinion, but yeah, I like it. Hmm. Yeah. And as for the Model 3, well, you know, this was never a battle with with consumption, because we all know that the Model 3 was more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why I didn't highlight too much of this, just gave you guys the numbers. I mean, it's two different cars, two different uh, car segments, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, my biggest was surprise was the camping test, mm -hmm. because I would expect that, uh, you know, the iPace, which has uh, some smart heat scavenging, would uh, consume more or less the same as the Tesla. Yeah. But for some reason it didn't. Well, did we mention that I had the cabin temperature at 23 degrees Celsius the last hour and 22 degrees Celsius the first hour? No. But 
how 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 much hotter was that than you had? No, but still, you know, yeah. still that should make uh, yeah. the consumption yeah, it two, really should. more than two times more. No. Yeah, I no. had yeah, yeah. I had twenty twenty one, which was perfect for me. Yeah, uh, twenty yeah something like that. Yeah, but uh, I, if I remember correctly, I felt like the eye pace was a little bit stingy on the heat. Yeah, because twenty two in this is most definitely not as warm as twenty two in my e-tron. Oh, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, okay, to be 100% correct, we have to use, uh, we have to measure the temperature in both cars. Yeah. But <laughs> I think, you know, at least it wasn't like I was 16 degrees in here and he was 28. It yeah, wasn't yeah, like that. No, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, all right, I think that's going to be it for now. So, uh, by the way, so see, now you guys have watched my video about what happened in the Tesla, but if you want to know what happened in the iPace and what his opinion, more of his opinions about the iPace, then you have to go to Chris's channel yeah. and watch his video. And I actually recommend watching his video because I watch some, some of his videos and I enjoy watching them. They, they are good videos. Thank you, Bjorn. Thank you. So <laughs> just go ahead, go to, I will link to uh, Chris's video in, my, in the description. So just check it out. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.